you sign on to the web interface, the first tab you'll see will be the Tool tab. You'll click on the Import Tools button. And to start with, take the option to download the import template. Select a location for the template. And then open the template from that location. And you'll see the import uh, template format. Importing tools into Share My Toolbox is probably the, the quickest and easiest way to, to enter a large number of, of new tools to the database. The other methods would be adding tools one at a time to the tool grid on the web interface and also adding a tool one at a time via a mobile device. If you're keying in a large quantity though, this is a highly recommended way to do it. I'll start by expanding all the fields, the columns, to, um, so that we can see the, the field descriptions a little easier. And then we'll just start entering uh, tool information. Of course, since we're doing this in Excel, there's lots of easy ways to um, key in large quantities of information. easy to uh, cut and paste. Copy information. So the only required information, like we've talked about in other uh, tutorials for adding tools, the only required information is the tool title. Everything else is optional. Once you put stuff in here, um, You'll, you'll notice that uh, we have an example line on line two, so you want to sort of correspond to that uh, format for your data. If you deviate from that, for example, I put in letters or something under the, the purchase price, that, that record will get rejected, so you want to you wanna follow this format and not put uh, blanks and unnecessary spaces, uh, so forth. Those will all cause uh, the record to be rejected. After you've keyed in everything, then you can delete the sample line. Do not delete the, the first line for the title, uh, the column fields. Uh, we need that to import the data. So I'm gonna save this, and you wanna save it into the, the format it came in, which is a CVS format. You don't, CSV format, excuse me. You don't wanna save it as an Excel file. And then when we go back to our import option, we're going to choose that file. And then we're going to click import. And notice it will give us a, a progress. Depending on how many tools you have, it could take a while if you're importing a thousand tools or something like that. I'm only importing 12, so it went relatively quickly. It told me that the 12 tools were successfully imported. If we had any errors, it would tell us here also that uh, we had an error on, say, line number 10. Then you could go look at that line, and, and it would tell you what the, what the error may be. So those tools were imported. I will close. And let's go find those tools. And I have everything in uh, tool title order now, so that's why you don't see it here. So I will search for just the word tool, it contains the word tool, of course I might get a lot of stuff here. So down at the bottom we see all the, all the tools that I added. A couple other hints here, if we set up a new manufacturer, uh, for example if I keyed in ABC Tool Company as a manufacturer on the import, it would automatically set up that, that manufacturer on our, on our manufacturer list. The same with category, those will be added. The only thing we cannot import is we cannot import a tool picture. If we want to change a tool picture, click on the tool picture icon and choose the picture that we want to import. I keep a folder with a lot of the demo pictures 
I suggest that uh, you probably have a lot of common tools that your company purchases. You know, keep some stock images out there. You can always add to it later. Um, we'll click on one and upload that. A couple of things that you cannot import. Uh, we don't import the a tool status, for example. So whether it's uh, loaned out and who it's loaned to, that kind of thing, that will need to be updated through the through the workflow process on the mobile devices. Once you import it, of course, anything can be edited. Just click on the field, you know, continue typing something, tab over. Um, if you edit edit the record, it will have a red triangle at the top of the field indicating that that uh, that field has not been saved on that record so you would click save changes and that's now added to the database this concludes the tutorial on adding tools via the import method on the web interface